MEA Selection Tools This video is a continuation of the previous videos MEA Viewer 1 and MEA Viewer 2. To undock the MEA Viewer, click the icon here to make float. And by clicking and dragging the arrows here, we can resize our panel. Now going to the Selection Tools. Our tools enabled by default are the Rectangular Selection Tool and the Full Selection. By clicking and dragging, we can select channels on the MEA Viewer and see our data represented in the Raw Traces window. We can also modify the modes by clicking the Select Most Active Channels in a Region. Then when we make our selection, only the most active channels within this area will be selected. We can further adjust this setting by choosing the Selection Factor. Furthermore, we can select by Grid. And when we click and drag, we see that only a ratio of channels have been selected. Additionally, we can select by other parameters. By going to the Pixel Subset Selection Options, we can choose to have a subset by grid, a subset by level of activity, or have a random subset. And that's when we select, we see a random selection. Clicking anywhere on the MEA viewer boundaries will clear our selection. In addition to the default rectangular selection tool, we have a myriad of other tools available. Now let's return to the full selection mode. And now we'll select the elliptical selection tool. By clicking and dragging on the MEA viewer, we can make elliptical selections. If we wish to make multiple selections, holding Control Shift on the keyboard and clicking and dragging will create another selection. If we wish to omit pixels selected, we can hold down the Alt key and click. Additionally, we have the Lasso Selection tool. The Lasso Selection tool allows us to draw one line, and by clicking and dragging, we see a lighter area representing the area that will be selected. We also have the polygonal lasso selection tool that allows us to make more geometric selections. With our brush selection tool, we can more precisely click and drag to select our data. We can also change the brush size. Finally, the magic wand selection tool will allow you to select pixels with similar features. For instance, if we click here, we can select a variety of pixels all across the channel grid. And furthermore, we can adjust the, the tolerance, the mode from global to contiguous, and decide to pick the channels by color or by value. In addition to our selection tools, we can also have the option to keep our selection through different experiment tabs. When this button is clicked, so when we change to different analysis tabs, we will keep our selection. Furthermore, we also have a ruler feature, which by clicking it, and then clicking and dragging it anywhere in the MEA viewer, we can see the measured length. Finally, we have a counter tool which when selected allows us to click and place different counters across our MEA Viewer map. To return our MEA Viewer to the dock, click the Dock Back button. If we want to change our counter settings, we can change our workspace from Basic to Advanced and modify them by going to the MEA Marker Layers. Here we can add a new layer. Here we can toggle the visibility, change the color, the marker size, and the size of our label. We can add a new layer, and additionally we can delete a layer by selecting it and clicking the delete. 